Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. So I just finished this amazing conversion kit, which is the 1 to 100 scale Gundam Age 1 Razor. This is from B Club and they did a masterful job. I know it's uh, Naoki, I believe, uh, who did the design of the B Club uh, of this particular kit and just knocked it out of the park. I, I, I don't think it was really that difficult to manage. Um, it didn't really require a lot of cleaning. Uh, one key note I do say is to make sure you sand down your resin parts um, as much as you can. Don't like, don't let it be like very, very smooth. Try and sand it uh, to have a little bit of a, a coarse kind of a surface, not to where it's visible in the paint, but just to make sure that the uh, primer adheres to it because when I primed it and it was a little bit too smooth, the primer didn't adhere, so. Now I'm not gonna be too humble on this uh, video because I think I did a banging job. Granted, it's not perfect. It's not a you know 100% flawless kit. There's a lot of things I did that I could have definitely improved on or I could have tweaked or cleaned up a little bit. But even with those issues that are present, I think the concept of what I did was executed very well. Um, and if you see right here, I did a little thing. I'm gonna switch this on. There we go. So I put an LED inside. This is really my first time working with uh, custom LEDs. Normally, you know, it's like the unicorn or something that has LEDs already um, kind of parented to that kit. But this, I actually had to drill the internals of that cockpit, cut a lot of things out, and um, have it to where the light can shine through and show off the age, uh, you know, uh, symbol, the core. That was a handful. That was actually pretty damn uh, stressful because you, you can't really do all the innards unless you gotta like do a lot of modifications. But um, for what I did, I think it came out great. Now the overall build process, look, it was fine. I, I really can't say that I had a difficult time outside of just the priming. Um, you know that part didn't really adhere to the overall kit, which you know I was able to push through and uh, fix it as necessary. But overall, I mean, I think it came out great. The the biggest concerns I probably have is not every single white part on this kit has um, shading that is present. Uh, just some parts like uh, the hands, those don't really have shading. And uh, the skirts, those really don't have too much shading going on go, uh, with it. But, you know, the legs uh, around the arms, uh, like the bicep area, like all those it pretty much has a shading that's a display. It's kind of subtle, but it's there. Uh, but the biggest shading is going to be in the blue, which I thought was beautiful, and you can also see it in the yellow-orange. But overall, whenever you paint and build a model kit, you're really putting a little bit of yourself into it. Uh, it's more intangible, you know, you're, you're putting your, your feelings, your emotions of that time frame into this, because how can you really, you know, focus on something when you're so distracted so you really have to like you know kind of channel all all your emotions and everything into that build uh, I know it sounds weird it sounds like you know healing crystal kind of talk uh, but during the process that I was building this I, you know I, I've been really stressed at work um, been overflowed with other things going on in life um, family members you know uh, a couple of my family members caught COVID during the time frame and it, it was really stressful for me so um, during the time frames that I was able to like really sit down and just focus on the build, um, that was some of the most blissful times that I can really like channel all my emotions and just focus on putting putting that negativity into something positive. Um, and it also helps that this kit is something I've been desiring for 10 years. I think around 2012 is when I first known about the, uh, the B Club coming out and uh, I was like, I, there's no way I can get my hands on it at the time. And years and years passed, I always thought, man, it'd be really nice to get the conversion of this, and I just never seen it before. Uh, but last year, luckily, I was on Yahoo Auction, and I found not one, but two of the conversions, and I bought both, because you know, I thought, I'll paint one, I'll learn from my mistakes, and the second one I paint could be more of a custom color, and I will definitely be a little bit better at it. A very emotional build. To, to say the least. And I really wish I, I had the energy 
uh, and the discipline to record the entire journey. You know, something like Otaku Builder or It's a Gumpla does whenever they do their uh, painted montage builds. I would love to do that, especially for a build like this, but you know, I really didn't want any distractions. I wanted to like focus on this and not worry about a video during the process. I didn't want to worry about ca catching the right shots or, you know, having any kind of mistakes that, you know, I would have to, you know, work on later, but also try and film so on and so forth. So this is just like, this is the end results. All right. Um, I don't think, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't think I'm the person for people to watch and learn from. I'm not that person. Um, I'm not that guy. So I would say go check out those other channels. Um, there's a, plenty of other channels that specialize in showing you the process of painting and customizing builds. Um, for me, uh, this this channel is kind of evolving more to just a more comedy-based channel, um, and I really don't want to just clog it up with builds like this. You know, like just montage builds. Uh, but I will show you the aftermath of when it's done, what it looks like. And I'm just kind of like looking around and I'm really enjoying it. I, I love the smoothness, uh, the smoothness of the matte finish. And I'm just happy. Overall, I am happy. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed looking at this kit. Uh, you can definitely catch more photos and everything on Twitter. I'll take as many as I can and post it on Twitter. Um, but yeah, check it out over there or check me out on Discord. And, um, you know, I hope y'all really, you know, enjoyed just the overall appearance of this as much as I do. It's it's a whole different beast when you're seeing it in person um, than when you're seeing it in a photo because a lot of times photos might hide stuff. Um, so like in person, I can see all my uh, imperfections, but I can also just see the rawness of the uh, the finished build. And mm, it's it's so much of a roller coaster because I've wanted this for so long. Uh, and it's finally here. It's finally finished and I've built it to an expectation that 10 years ago I, I would have never thought I could actually manage. But that's it guys. Uh, thank you all for watching and uh, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Um, I, I've been putting so much energy into Twitter. I, I love it. Gumpla Twitter is something else. I'll tell you that. Uh, so come check me out over at uh, Twitter, uh, basically at the Krosama and check out all my posts and inter interact with me. You know, do whatever, ask questions, make comments, all good stuff. But that's it for me, guys. Thank you all for watching and uh, be expect a lot more videos. I, I finished this. This is done. This is going to Gundam Base Fukuoka for the competition. So I am completely done. I can start making videos again. But that's it for me, guys. Thank you all for watching. I'll be seeing you later. Bye-bye.